Hi, I'm doing a tag response for the fantastic, awesome Mark. He's done five questions. Yeah. So, moving on to number one. How would you describe your town you live in? Well, this is not a town, it is a city. Um, but if we didn't have the cathedral, then it would have been the town. But like I said, since we've got a cathedral, this is a city. And it is classed as the smallest city in England. If you look it up, Wells, W-E-L-L-S, Somerset, you will find out this is the smallest city in England. Yeah. Um, the moat around the palace is awesome. I love it. The town, the town, we used to have loads of shops and the town was very busy. But as soon as Tesco's moved in, shops was getting closed. And then all these charity shops started moving in. Um, so, in one sense, where I live is very beautiful. In another sense, the town itself is falling to pieces. Yeah. And besides, because Wells is called Wells, W-E-L-L-S, we are actually on top of a big well. Underneath Wells is a big well. Up in the moat, which is the moat all the way around the palace, it goes under, right underneath the town. And you sh if I took you up there, there's water going down through either side of the town along the side of the pavement. Mm. Anyway, um, moving on. What do you like to order at a coffee shop? Coffee. Um, it doesn't matter what coffee place that I'm in, I always say coffee. Um, they come out and say, well, would you like this? Would you like this? I said, no, I would like coffee. And they give me a coffee. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. If you could restart your life at any age, would you? If so, what age and why? My own personal view is I didn't mind my age right away up to I was 49. Now I'm in my 50s. I dislike my age. I dislike being in my 50s. I had no trouble whatsoever with any other age. But now I'm in my 50s. I dislike. So I would go back anywhere, back 30 years, from 30 up to I was 49. Anywhere along that, I would be happy. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. What would you do if you found a severed finger which was wearing an expensive ring? Well, what I would, what I would do, um, because it's forensics and all that and they do not like um, things being touched, um, if I didn't have a f mobile phone with me, then I would shout and shout and shout until somebody heard me and I would ask them to call the police and then I would stay by the severed finger until the police had come. But if I was in a place where there was nobody about, I think I would do the next Next thing is to carry on walking, leave the finger and the ring there. Um, and hopefully nobody would report that who I, you know, I, I was there and they describe a person, I get caught and they think I was the one who died. That's, that's what I would think most of all. If I didn't report it, 
and nine times out of ten the police could think well you didn't report it you seen it so you did it but that's what I would do anyway is shout as much as I can to incur somebody to come along to get them to ring the police anyway oh moving on to number four I didn't do number four would you consider yourself more prone to wishful thinking or shooting for the stars well I'm not a star so I ain't gonna be shooting here there and everywhere so I'd be putting myself down for wishful thinking anyway Mark there you have it God bless take care love you loads